look at the market level, right? You look at the five-year return on the index per se, and the market is still going great guns. Investors are still coming to India. Uh, they are, but I'll give you an example of, say, uh, us as a broker. I would say account openings are probably down as much as 40% in the last two quarters. Uh, based on how the market is behaving in large part, but things like uh, increasing STT that too by 25% take away a significant portion of the margin uh, that a broker has to play with. Uh, so retail traders, Tanvi, find it quite hard to be profitable, uh, not just because of STT, but also because of uh, exchange transaction charges that somebody like an NSE might charge because of uh, stamp duty and uh, uh, brokerage and all the different fees that one has to pay. But to take it to a point where people have to pay as much as, uh, you know, two and a half, three points on every nifty transaction uh, just to break even, uh, if you talk about a speculator who is going to enter and exit a nifty transaction 10 times a day, uh, I think the odds are stacked against him. And we need to move this bucket of a majority of traders not being able to make money. Uh, we have to kind of like help them uh, in breaking even and help them in making money because they are an intrinsic cardinal part of the market. Maybe the government wants there to be limited speculation. We're seeing what's happening in the West, right? We're seeing what's happening in the US. We're seeing what's happening in Europe. Maybe this is about having more long-term capital parked in the market, bringing down speculative activity. Uh, that could be the thinking as well, to just insulate the market towards, uh, insulate the market from shocks, external shocks, internal shocks, uh, and I mean, curb speculation to that extent. So get more retail investors who will be there in the markets for compounding returns for the long haul. I think the opposite is true. Like without the speculators, uh, without the liquidity that they bring into the market, when there were to be a shock in the future, I think we're taking off the floor in a way. Uh, to have these people who come and trade multiple times a day, A, brings down the cost of long-term investing, which in my opinion is also speculation, but uh, with a longer duration, uh, it brings down the cost of them investing significantly, but without these short-term speculators coming in and out every day, uh, we might see a situation where stocks become so illiquid that when a drastic event happens, there is no floor. And instead of yeah, falling... Yeah, that's an important point. Instead but, of falling 5% today, maybe we suddenly see stocks falling 30 40% because there is no liquidity in them.